Hello, everybody. It's been about two months. I have been slacking. Um, I spent the last 40 minutes trying to fix just my whole install. Something went wrong. I installed two copies of Unity, trying to help a friend, and it completely wrecked everything. So uh, now that I actually have the project opening up, I can start to reclaim the work that I lost. So, currently, nothing is working anymore. <laughs> I have my my drag to spin is broken, and my WASD is broken as well. But at least my camera stuff still works. Yeah, okay, so that seems to be working fine. Um, it's a little bit strange. I thought that my directional light was a child of my camera. Oh, that's right, this stupid new... I have to hit tab and then enter? What is that? Okay, much better. So, got the directional light working. Um, let's actually put it... I guess it's directional light, it doesn't matter. Hey, where are you? I don't need you anymore. Yeah, I feel like I must have lost a fair bit of stuff here. Um, so I think when I'm dragging, I'm getting an error. Yeah, that's very strange. I wonder how much I lost. I had my... Uh, let's go to the other scene. Well, let's apply this here. Definitely save. Okay, so that seems to be working just fine. WASD do nothing. Okay. Core level objects, debug touch input. Where is this debug point container? Okay, it's in the canvas. Maybe I should make my canvas part of my core level objects. That seems like a wise move. I can delete you, and then here is my container, and my prefabs, debug points, there we go. <clears throat> I have an extra light in here somewhere, I think, in camera. Now this one has a directional light that's part of the prefab as well? Hmm. Fine. Break that prefab, and then reassign it here. Oh, 
Ooh, you know what it is? I think that it's because I'm not using cube updated. So this might actually be a dead a dead scene. Control D for duplicate, yeah. Set next was given a path node that has no tag. Great. Okay. Cool. So this seems to be working. Uh, one thing I might want to fix is after you drag a certain amount, it's just going to spin no matter what. Try and find where this error came from again. Hmm. That's okay. Everything seems to be pretty happy now. Oh, hey. That's weird. Was given a path node that has no tag. Oh boy. L path face, why do you not have any tags on your nodes? Straight path face, are you the same? Start path node, end path node. Okay. Straight L should be also broken. Whoa! L path face. Not a clone. Check it out. So the clones are failing. So my guess is that all these left, I assume that they're left. No, that is not a clone. Qua? <laughs> and that's a pretty nifty looking path. But there we go, we're still getting some of these LPath clone untagged. <clears throat> so let's look at this cube spawner. Let's give this our debug touch. Who else had the debug touch? Our camera. Wasn't it the camera? 
Last controller, maybe. Yeah. So now we should get our nice little... Yeah, there we go. So right broke and down broke. Let's try and recreate that. Select right, nothing, down, nothing. Okay. So it's got something to do with randomization. Let's um let's do a quick easy out here. So if we're not gonna draw the debug, let's return. Turn it off for testing purposes. Cool. So yeah, I do believe that my spawning of items is... Oh, you know... Hmm. Where do I spawn these? Scripts. Cube. Cube face spawner. Cube manager. Don't really use a cube filter anymore. Ah, might be in the cube itself. Cube face spawner. Whoa. Ah. I don't know if I can update all of them at the same time. And updating it is breaking the prefab. Interesting. That should be okay though. Okay, so that's fixed it a little bit. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, but I will be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> so that's a very interesting problem with the... I still... Yes, I am. Um... Calling update faces breaks the prefab. But I could still just pull in the prefab, right? Cube updated. Yeah. Update faces go. Cool. So it seems like it seems like most of my debug stuff is working. Cool. So I can still miss if I drag along a corner. Oh, that was just close enough. There we go. Okay. Well. As long as I use cube updated, I think I can kill this cube. Like what's the difference? Not fading in or out. Just have a cube core. No rotator. How about you? Do you have a rotator? No. Do you find the rotator? Yes. Right, because the rotator lives on itself. Okay, cool. And we've got our easers selectable. Unset faces have no path. Oh, that's funny, scrolling up and down in the <laughs> inspector zooms here. Okay, that's fine. Maybe a cube begin. I think it's three zero zero. Ugh. And let's see. Cube manager has the start node. Oh, those are broken. They're not linked to each other. Well, let's just try and link it up and see what happens. New face that has untagged path nodes. Assertion failed. Face container child count. Interesting. This is in my cube core. So that's saying each child of face container should only have one child. So that means my cube begin is bad as well. Um, this is what I'll do. Let's, let's take a cube updated. Well, let's get rid of you here. I'm not trying to click on the canvas, guys. Oh my gosh. I just want... Jeez. 
Okay, so up, the path type should be start end. Hey, there we go. And uh, all of these should be none. Okay, begin, we've got our faces, start, end, path, face, clone. These are tagged correctly and linked correctly. Excellent. So, cube begin, you are now... Yes, replace. So that means on my cube begin, I should be able to link the start node to my cube manager. Cool. Okay. Oof. Looking good. Shoot. So that's the right branch node. Linked path node on same cube. And there is no next. Did he not die? <clears throat> so it seems like our pathing bugs are back. Really back. You go under, buddy? You do. Whoa! Okay. So I feel like before we go any further, I really should just knock out this pathing bug. I don't know how much time I have left today, because I spent way too much time fixing the update from Unity 5.3 to 2017.2 or whatever. So let's break this down. When I spin this, it should... This is the back face. Here's our start, right, no, left, and right. So it thinks that the next path node is the one that's directly connected on the same cube. But that is incorrect. I wonder, has this bug been hiding here the whole time? Let's move this, oh.
duplicate. Let's crush that there. So now we actually have a little solid piece. Oh, and I get to solve the problem again. There we go. Do you not have an L on here? You don't, do you? Grumble, grumble. Okay, so I want it to go. There we go. Mm-hmm. 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 So because it was this sort of scattered pattern like so. That means when they spin, uh, I was thinking about that last night. Okay, okay. Scripts, pathing. path node. So remove invalid paths. This is what got rid of the, the node on same cube. Check for path imbalance. And see, this would be perpendicular paths here, I believe. So let's pare down the problem, right? Make our problem space smaller. So I want cube updated one, and everything past two is off. And let's see, cube updated one. I'll have the left be straight. And then cube updated. Let's move you down here. Be with your friends. Have the up be a straight as well. And no rotation. Okay. So that worked fine now, but I, I bet there's nothing there. Yes, I'm correct. So cube zeros right will also be a straight. Good. And now he should go down here. What? <laughs> Aha! Oh, he died. Huh. Let's watch the call stack. Oh dear.
I should probably stop running this, huh? Do, 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 there we go. Hey, playing nicely. <clears throat> so I want to spin this one up. Oh, geez. Dead. Continue. Aha. Start equals null. If overlapped equals target node. If the type is end. Node type. Where are you, node type? Type start. <laughs> there we go. So if type is start and face traverse direction is backward. So we start pathing new face. Get next. Owning face, owning core, right. So it's not actually this part, it's where we calculate the next. And then in here, Start path and new face, null. Overlapped. Get next. Face traverse direction. And linked path node is null. Hmm. So that works because there's no matching face down there, but here we actually have two options. But now it works. Should die. Good. Next and previous. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Hmm. Yeah, taking two months off from a project can be pretty rough. I need to rebuild all of these connections in my brain. Oh, what? So this is the start, which means next is center and previous is start. Which means branch node is next. What? What? How is that working? So previous is this end on the begin face. Good. That shouldn't be working at all. I believe it should get to the center node. It sees the branches next. Oh, but branch has nothing next because it's a question mark. And then these have nothing next because there's nothing connected to them. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. That makes me a little bit happier. But still... There we go, so this should work. And this should have him fail or walk downwards. Fail. So it thinks that there's no previous. But because this is the start path node, that means I'm going backwards from end to start. So the previous is not linking up. And I have path node. What happens when I just hit play? Okay, so when I enter the game, it's happy. And I do this, it's happy. But on rotate, Mm hmm. On rotate, when I have a path that has a connecting path node on the same cube, 
And these two path nodes are also overlapping at least one other. What happens with two? Up is oh. <clears throat> down. We'll do straight as well. So now, cool. So we have that three dimensional cross. Hmm. Okay. Feeling more confident being able to recreate the bug now. Now that I know what it is. Okay, so now if I hit play, it should validate all of my paths first. Cool. And then, this is cube updated one, left face. This is cube updated, oh, is it left face? No, it will be bottom face. Okay. So this is straight path face, owning core cube updated one. So we are currently looking at the this one here. Whoa! Hmm. I bet this will do. Oh. Oh, I need to make sure this is the right straight path face. I don't know what the name. This seems more correct. Okay, so this is the start of the owning core cube updated and path A should be my of cube updated. Art leaf node. What? So connect perpendicular paths should not run if both of these are owned by the same cube. And couldn't I remove invalid? Valid? Valid. Valid. Could have three, couldn't I? <clears throat> Where do I set possible path node links? Uh. 
empty. On trigger, enter. If the thing we overlapped doesn't have a path node, or if the face is not active, or, or if my face is not active, or if their face is not active, or if the thing I overlapped is on the same cube. I think this extended point is getting like it's a pretty silly idea. Oh no, that seems to be correct. Because this was this cube up here, so this guy is overlapping too. That's correct. And so shoot, 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 shoot. This equals is what's doing it. I'm kind of tempted to hard code this for now. Mm. Private const float, let's call this um, the distance between perpendicular path vector. <laughs> Not a great name. Um, I'll just go down here. This doesn't need to be a class-wide variable. It's a little bit weird, though. I don't think I was getting this log warning. Did I turn warnings off? Dang it! <laughs> uh. Yeah, buddy. See, one step at a time, just making sure and see, okay, so that fixed our perpendicular path area. Um, cool, I think that's it for today. Oh, well, let's test, let's go back and test what originally spawned the problem. But I'm pretty happy, I got everything working again. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Hmm. 
Oh geez. There we go. It's really hard to test that. Especially... Oh! Check it out. I am definitely not thinking. I had a small moment of panic. I thought it just wasn't working anymore. <laughs> um, is this right? No. Oh, this isn't even right. Good grief. There we go. Awesome. <clears throat> Cool. Well, that's it for today. Ah, it's good to be back. Um, I'm going to try and do this at least one hour every day again. And I think we're almost at time. We're, it's almost time to start really making some cool cubes now that we have the core, core logic happy. Um, so thank you all for watching. And hopefully I'll post tomorrow.